The number one reason why golfers struggle to start the backswing is because they get way too tense at the setup position. They'll stand over the ball like this here and they'll find it really difficult to take the club back without manipulating the hands, manipulating the forearms, arms and pushing the club either too far on the inside or well on the outside. And this is what we're going to be looking at in this video because you may have found that trying to get this tension, being quite nervous, hitting those tee shots, hitting those approach shots on the golf course becomes tr quite tricky if we're going a little bit all over the place and getting that inconsistency taking place to start that backswing. So we're gonna be looking at eliminating this number one reason why golfers struggle to start the backswing so you can play better golf out on the golf course. And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Harry, PJ Golf Professional, down here from the Golf Projects, transforming golfers worldwide on Skillist, one shot at a time. So I'd highly recommend hitting the subscribe button down below if you take these tips and drills on board so you don't miss out on any game-changing golf content coming out every week, Tuesdays and Fridays. So let's talk about tension then. Well, first off, a lot of golfers get tension, very tensed up out on the golf course because they're afraid of hitting bad shots. They're either having a poor round of golf and they're trying to limit the poor outcomes going too far to the right or too far to the left, or they're having a great round of golf. You play on the golf course, you've gone birdie, birdie, or a couple under your handicap, and you're thinking, gosh, I really hope this continues. But then you step up to the golf ball and you go, right, let's make sure I hit this fairway now. I'm gonna make sure I just get my swing right, check on a load of these positions that you're trying to get yourself into, getting very tense because of this, very, very rigid in your swing, and then the worst outcome takes place. And then you say to yourself, oh, I knew that was going to take place. So it's really important that no matter where you are, especially on the golf course though, you've got to relax. So before you start doing your pre-shot routine, and for those of you who don't know what pre-shot routine is, it's the routine that you give yourself before hitting the golf ball out on the golf course. So you could have a couple of practice swings, just swinging back and forth, looking away from the golf ball, walking behind, seeing where the golf shots are going to go, or visualize that shot taking place, then walk into the ball and hit, something along those lines. You notice a lot of the tall pros do this. And it's simply because they're not worried about the shot outcome. They're going through a process. So to get ourselves relaxed, I'd highly recommend checking out and giving yourself a pre-shot routine. One I like to do in particular, this helps me stay relaxed on the golf course because I'm not worried about hitting those bad shots. I'm just going through a process that I do every single time. So what I like to do is pretty much what I just did then just taking my stance, having a couple of swings, really trying to feel what I'm working on in my swing, nice and relaxed, rolling those shoulders and arms, making sure everything's nice and loose, bring the club up to point towards the target, pointing at the golf ball, walking into the shot, and then staying again, nice and relaxed, couple of club twirls, and then hit the shot. And straight away, I've just hit quite a nice little bullets of a six iron there, but it's gone a little bit to the right, but you get the point. If we stood over the golf ball without this routine, worried about what's gonna happen, we're going to get very tense out on the golf course. It makes it difficult for us to take this club back on playing. We get sometimes very rigid, rolling at the wrist, tensing on the inside, or doing the opposite and taking the club outside. So to get this control and tension away from your game, I'd highly recommend giving yourself a routine just like that one. So moving on now, we've, we've sort of Calm down this tension taking place in your golf game. We've given yourself this routine that you can go for, but how can you ensure that you're staying nice and relaxed throughout your entire golf swing? Too many golfers, they'll set up to the ball once they've even done this and make the swing back, and then all of a sudden they need to hit the ball and gain a lot of tension. I learned this um, off another PJ professional who's been in the golfing industry for 47 years now. And he taught me something, David taught me something where when we get this tension taking place, we think, hit the ball. We've got to nail it. When we don't have to nail it, we can just stay nice and relaxed and very fluent. And the change in our mindset of when we go hit the ball increases the tension. So what you've got to think in your head is rather than trying so hard to hit the ball, just relax and swing nice and smoothly. To do this, when we're taking this setup here, we've gone through that routine, I like to just maybe sometimes 
just take the club out in front, okay? And just swing round and round. And you can see there, I'm just letting my arms do whatever they want. And all I'm simply doing here is getting my back to face towards the target and then my chest to face towards the target, allowing that club to naturally whip through. So when I come to set up now and make a practice swing doing this, okay, so rather than the club swinging round like so, almost like a baseball swing, bringing it down, tilting over into our golf posture, making this swing take place back to target, chest to target. And you can see that I'm literally just letting my arms flow. I'm not worried about where the golf swing is taking place and how I'm getting this golf club into the certain positions required to hit that good shot. I'm just simply just going, right, I want my back to target and then I want my chest to target. Just swinging back and through. And that's a nice, simple thought for you to take out onto the golf course to reduce this tension taking place in the actual golf swing as well as that address position, of course. When we're practicing, you notice maybe a little bit of tension take place and you start to see the club whirl off on the inside or outside. How can we get this control and ensure that we're giving ourselves the best possible chance of keeping the club nice on plane? Because the golf swing usually works in reactions. If we go one way, for example, rolling the wrists and getting too far on the inside, which is what I tend to see my clients do, then we tend to go too far over and end up pushing the shoulders out, pushing the hands out, and then that increases the tension taking place. So sometimes even when we try this natural fluid motion taking place, we can't quite help us trying to stop ourselves, trying to recover from certain positions we've got ourselves into because they're not great positions in the golf swing. So the first one I'm going to introduce is how we actually begin that backswing. So the takeaway. But just before we move on to the next step, I'd like to introduce a brand new sponsor to the channel, GX Golf. GX Golf is a new golf glove company out on the market now that provide high quality golf gloves at a fraction of the price. And you can get these for a whopping 10% off your total order by using the discount code below. I'd highly recommend getting these. I've been using these for around a month now and I'm really, really impressed with the quality. So I'm definitely going to be recommending these to my students and clients down here at the Golf Projects and Online Coaching. And the great simple drill I like to give my clients is dead simply taking one alignment stick just like this here. And you can get these, any of the training aids or Trapman. I'm using IO today as well, the new Trapman IO to film this video. Uh, you can get 5% off any of those golf equipment, training aids and launch monitors with golf swing systems. You can use the code SURE5 uh, just below to get 5% off any of their equipment. So I've got the alignment stick placed on the left-hand side of the grip, touching now the left side of the body. All I'm going to do is when I come to setting up to the golf ball, just obviously making sure I'm staying nice and relaxed, no tension taking place in the swing. And I'm just going to allow this club to drag almost along the floor and take it back like so. And just make sure that alignment stick there is just touching, continuing to touch the lead side of the body. And you can see there that sets the club for position one in the golf swing nice and neutral. My hands are staying in nice and controlled position here. The club's not manipulating and opening up like so. It's just taking back nicely on this line along the floor. So once you've made at least 15 to 20 practice swings doing this, you can take the alignment stick away and just close your eyes and see if you can make a couple of more swings doing this. Check it by opening them after a couple just to make sure you're getting that club dragging along this imaginary line on the floor. The hands stay nice and close to us. And then from this position here, as we make our way up just before parallel to the ground, this P1 position here. For some of my clients who have done this, feels like they're using their lead shoulder, the left shoulder. Some of them, the core muscles to take it back. And some, what I've just mentioned then, so the upper back muscles taking this club head back. So how we actually start this backswing all depends on what that drill feels like to you. What body parts are you using to take that club head back into position? Because it's different for everyone. So we've got this club set into this position here. We've started this golf swing nice and relaxed like so. All we're going to do here now is allow this club head of ours to go over our right shoulder. And I simply just want you to take the left hand off. Once you get to this position here, take the left hand off for me. So you've only got your trail hand on the club. Okay, and from here, you're just going to allow that club head to go over your right shoulder. As the back 
is facing towards the target, is turning to face towards the target. And you can see here, this sets the right arm in a lovely position at the top of the swing. And I've done a few videos recently on the right arm and how important that is. So I'd highly recommend checking that out if you're looking for a full tutorial on this later on. I'll leave it at the end screen at the end of this video. So we're just thinking about that takeaway there, keeping everything nice and controlled, no wrist movement from here, taking this left hand off, and we're just getting this club to go straight upwards and get my right arm to fold over the right shoulder. A great drill to do this if you're looking for something that's really going to help you apply this movement straight away and understand how this backswing should feel from this starting position here, okay, rather than at the address position, this position one here or position two, take your hand and place it in the middle of the shaft and then from here, you can just get this turn taking place. You've got this trail arm, the right arm set with the elbow pointed towards the body, which is great. Set in position with the butt end of the club pointing at the target and just getting this back to turn to face towards the target. And this is allowing me to get that club going over my right shoulder. So after a couple of practice swings, doing those two drills, find which one suits you and then we can start to bring everything all together for the backswing. So we're taking this tension away. We've gone through this routine of making a few backswings, just thinking about that first point, second point, swinging nicely on the way through. Then we're going to look away, walk away from the golf ball, placing the club pointing directly down the target line. With the ball there, we can bring the club back to where we want it to be aiming take our stance and we're just going to repeat that process so it's there and swing through and hit the ball so all i've spoken about really in today's video to help you to get this start of the backswing correctly and get it all the way up to the top is reducing the tension and helping you get more of an on-plane swing so we're not having to recover from anything in the downswing the downswing can just work straight back down and through like so. So to finish off, let's see if I can hit an even straighter shot than that one. That was pretty close. I think I've just hit that one a little bit to the left. The other one was a little bit to the right, but really nice strike. And all I was thinking about then was getting that takeaway there, relaxing the body first, the shoulders and arms in particular, allowing this turn to take place, setting the club, and getting the club to go over the right shoulder to finish that backswing. So if you're looking for more great tips like this and to help you with the downswing phase, I highly recommend checking this video out over here. And if you've come this far and are gonna take these tips and drills on board, you may as well hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner so you don't miss out on all the future content coming your way. Be sure to take the opportunity in going and have a look at Golf Swing Systems, 5% off all their training aids and the launch monitors, but also the GX Golf Gloves, 10% off using my discount code, Harry10. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.